ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Hello! Alexa, mute. That's enough for David Bowie for the day. Hello, hello! Welcome to the Lower Parts Ten Broadcasting Corporation live on National Put Your Pants on Your Head Day. Um, how I know it's not, that's just silly, isn't it? There is no such day. Look at my hair, it is enormous. I am sporting a proper old booth on. It's getting very close to me shaving it myself. Look at that, you should see it in the morning. Anywho, how are you? Uh, what have I been up to today? Uh, I had to see the other day off today because I had my flu jab. A jab at the flu pipe, uh, which would be a character in Star Wars, I have no doubt. Um, so yes, so I've had that. I'm all right, don't feel tired. Um, can't even feel my arm actually. Maybe tomorrow, we'll see. I know a couple of people who've had the flu jab and said, well, I felt really tired for a couple of days. So we shall see. But anywho, so that was good. Uh, what else? I have been to see the moo. Uh, she was firing on all four cylinders again, which is good. Um, been to Wix to get some timber. Or lumber, as they call it in the States. Don't know why. Um, I had somebody asking me about the jobs I do. So it's probably a good time to explain. So I am setting up my own business. Um, essentially, initially, uh, my bread and butter will will be maintenance, property maintenance, and you know everything indoors from flooring to kitchens to bathrooms to floor. Um, I've said flooring, haven't I? Well, there's two different types of flooring, which I've already done uh, in the last couple of weeks, which is laminate flooring and vinyl flooring. Um, and flat pack and gardening and painting, you name it, I'll do it. If it's DIY, I'll do it all, you know, maintenance type of stuff, which is why I'm allowed to work because it's maintenance and there are obviously restrictions on a lot of things. That is not one of them. Um, the plan ultimately is to also start designing and building, um, outdoor stuff so I already do decking anyway you know that because I didn't stop wittering on about it through the summer but so uh, there'd be decking uh, essentially we call it hardscaping so paths pergolas sheds you know whatever you name it I want to design and build furniture um, play equipment um, also um, but the main thrust at some point will be um, garden buildings and particularly garden offices um, obviously a lot of people have been working in their houses and you know moving forward we'll possibly be doing a lot more work from home so as you can see I have to do my all my work in the lounge um, which necessitate, necessitates, necessitates me getting the software that, that I've always used, which is called SolidWorks. Uh, I am in discussions with the supplier of that at the moment. Um, the business is being start up, started up in conjunction with the Enterprise Allowance Scheme uh, as well. Um, and uh, so on the garden offices, it will, the, my plan is to, to, to build them and essentially pimp them out, which will be, you know, TVs, internet points, um, maybe if they're big enough, small kitchenette, sofas, if you want them. Um, there are regulations around using a building solely for work. There are tax implications. So if you can use them for other things like family room as well, or just yeah, have a sofa in or a kitchen, so that it's, you know, used for other stuff, then that's okay. Um, you know, smoke alarms, fire extinguishers, Somebody suggested to me the other day if the plumbing was available nearby, you could maybe plumb certain have a have an inside loo, which is also a good idea. Um, but anyway, there's lots of ideas I've got for them. I plan to design them as I've always done on 3D CAD. Um, 
and that will happen moving forward. I am in the process of registering the company name, not as a limited company initially, I'll be a sole trader. Um, the company is going to be called Work, Rest and Play, um, essentially because it'll be stuff for work, it'll be furniture for resting, you know, lounges and all of this stuff, you know, I've got to design and build yet, but, and what else, uh, play, obviously the play equipment. My focus when required will be on full disability access, um, certainly for the home offices um, and garden buildings. They don't have to be an office, they may just be a, you know, like a gazebo or a, or a garden, you know, these garden, whatever you call them, spaces you go in the summer, maybe have a little meal in there and what have you. Um, and that also includes the play equipment. Um, when required, I would like to design uh, and build um, play equipment which is suitable for people with impairments and disabilities um, and other super hero powers um, and I plan to set up some focus groups for that uh, I say focus groups I'll be doing some market research um, and sort of moving along with that so that that's the plan at the moment um, that's where I'm going with it. As I say, my bread and butter, which pays the mortgage and feeds the cat, you know, is maintenance. That's what I'm doing, property maintenance. Um, but I can encompass everything within the business um, and hence the work, rest and play as well. So there you go. So for those of you that have asked, that's what I'm doing. This is dreadful self-promotion, but frankly, it's Saturday. I didn't really have that much else to... So, so, so I've been to Wix because tomorrow's job is I've um, got some rotten floorboards and a rotten floor joist. So that's part of tomorrow's job. Um, hence why I was picking up lumber from um, good old Wix, which I don't use that often, but occasionally it's handy if I'm there or thereabouts. Generally speaking, timber merchants are cheaper for for timber. Cow surprise! You wouldn't get a fish and chips there would you yeah plum sometimes i scare myself anywho so yeah that's really where i am and where i'm looking to go um you know i wish i'd have done it 10 years ago it may well excuse the phrase die on its ass but we shall see um i'm doing lots of learning at the moment some online learning for various things that i haven't done um but most the i have done if i'm honest um, I've refurbished my own house before now as well, so so I'll probably be a master of all trades and, a, and, and sorry, a jack of all trades and a master of none, but um, sometimes that works in life, doesn't it? So obviously I haven't learned how to shave yet, so. But I've got a, a, an online webinar for that next week, so hopefully at some point I will, I will have had a shave. So that's it, how was your day anyway? Enough about me. Um, as I say, a bit grim weather-wise, but um, yeah, it was all right, I think. So, what do we need? We need some Jacques de Jones. Thank you, Jacques. Ah, I forgot something else, actually, as well. I went and picked a, an SDS drill up today. So I am, I have most tools, but um, there are still a few that I'm looking for. Um, and SDS was one of them. They're more powerful than a regular drill because they, um, cause you can go into, you know, harder bricks and, and concrete with them. That's the whole point of them. They, have, they work off a different principle to a hammer drill. So it's not a rotation and a movement. It is, they have pistons that cause the vibration, which is the only way you can break concrete and that sort of thing. Anyway, it's all very boring. So I'm still, but I'm still looking for other tools. So I'm looking for a cordless circular saw and a cordless jigsaw mainly for work i do outside because it's easier than having corded ones i.e ones that runs off that run off the mains but anyway that's what i'm looking for at the moment and that's that'll be my focus over the next week or so um and so jokes is yours uh what have we got today so uh why did the chicken cross the road to go to the seance so I could get to the other side. 
I don't know, I've done that one before, but I do like that one. What have we got? We've got another one. Uh, why don't scientists trust atoms? It's because they make up everything. <laughs> you see the makeup? They do. Literally, they make up everything. Everything is made up of atoms. Everything in the world, in the history of the world, ever, ever, forever, is made up of atoms. So, even black holes, probably. Interestingly about black holes, I'd love to go to CERN. So CERN is under Switzerland, I believe. Yeah, I think it's Switzerland. It's, um, it's got something called the Hadron Collider, which is where they're trying to recreate a black hole. So essentially this is a massive ring, and we're talking miles long in one big circle. And they fire an atom one way round, and then another atom the other way round. And, and the plan is that when the atoms collide halfway round, um, the speed, the velocity that they're going at will create a black, hole, a black hole, which will probably last for a millisecond and you wouldn't get sucked into it. But anyway, that's why it's called the Hadron Collider, because they're actually colliding atom, atoms. But anyway, so end of today's science lesson. You're welcome. Be safe, especially if you're playing around with atoms. Au revoir.